Today we will discuss about Arch Linux. It is an Arch based Linux distribution and it has many editions. We have the L edition, the S, the D and the B. The D is the bare bones. The one that we will uh, look at is the Linux B with open box. So you can read all about it in their website. For the downloads, you go for downloads, Arc Linux B, you go to the latest one, and you can download it here. Okay, so let us start. I already downloaded Arco Arch based. Next, bump it a little bit. Next, create. Next, next, we go for 19 gigabyte. Okay, start. We put the ISO, add downloads, open, choose. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we uh, we got the welcome uh, welcome screen. For beginners, it's good to have a beginner installation here. Let me first update the Arch mirrors. It is done. Okay, and we go with the beginner installation. Next, next. Okay, erase. Next. Let me put Arco. We'll put a password. Okay. Use same password. Next. And install. Okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep it. We'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so it has finished, so we need to restart. Okay, so basically you directly put login. Ah, you put the, so you put the password. Okay. I don't want it again and quit. So this is the screen. You know that in open box you have this tint too and the right click you have this uh, menu. The menu does not uh, is not readable with uh, with this wallpaper. So let's change the wallpaper. And preferences, yeah, they have nitrogen, which is good. Let me try uh, let me try this one. Apply. Okay, that's better. Okay, and also let me uh, determine it. Opconf. Okay. I will use Onyx. That's the the one that I like most. Okay, close this one. So it's a little bit better. For the terminal, you have URXVT. I think they have uh, like four terminals installed, but we will check them also later. For the web browser, it's 
it is Firefox it's Firefox it's 93 it should be 95 we'll update it uh, in a minute for the file manager they have Thunar which is good so basically let us uh, try to update and see they use Pacman for arch based okay okay yes so we have around 961 megabyte of download from November so I will not install it now I think here so for the accessories, uh, you have the Conky, Conky Zen. Okay. So here, uh, it's a basic one, which is uh, nice, not uh, not bad. Three hundred forty-one RAM is good, but uh, five point eight gigabyte for open box is is too much. These are the accessories. Terminal emulator. Okay, we go for the development. Okay, they have Genie, Network, Firefox. They don't have a mail. So we have no Thunderbird, nothing. You have to install it. Settings. Okay, we go for add remove software. Not bad. These are the ones that need to be updated. Let me check uh, for the installed here by size. Okay, so this is this is Firefox. Let me reinstall it. Apply. Okay. So you can install Firefox. Let's check another things. In the setting okay you have Bluetooth of course printer grapper customizer it's good to have this uh, option here and nothing special here XFCE terminal the add settings also pulse audio very same here preferences what I like about the preferences is they put uh, many things like the LX appearance for the themes and there's the compositor and for open box these are very important the auto start RC and M, uh, menu dot XML so they have them as GUI and they can you can edit them as a text editor that is good that is good to have the same thing for tin2 if you want to make some changes add some uh, some sys some uh, programs or like say fi Firefox or anything you can do it from here they have a GUI which is good display keybinds it is also very good because you can see the rc.xml file you can see it here instead of opening it you can see all the shortcuts so if you want to change let's say if you put uh, super t it is it gives a terminal which is the urxbt I, I like uh, I like this the, the menu very much. Uh, let us see some things they, they have. There's something okay, which is the Arco Linux tweak tool. This is a very good feature they have here. So for the auto start, of course, in open box, you can add them in the auto start file that you have. Desktop, here you can install any desktop that you want. Which is a good, uh, good to have if you want to install. Because open box is a window manager, you can install a desktop environment if you want. There is GNOME, there is Plasma, there is Mate, LXQT. You can use them. Grab, you can change the image. Light DM, the mirrors, okay. Neo fetch, you can change the neo fetch that you have in the terminal. 
it's, it's fine okay uh, you can install the uh, uBlock origin for Firefox they have some some uh, features which are uh, are interesting I like what I see okay so terminals we have four terminals the alacrity the xfce4 terminal the termite and and all of them they have themes oh no you can you want you if you want to install the themes they give you the themes oh, and the termite you have you have all of these themes okay okay so this is uh, by default the new fetch there's also others you can use the themes zsh here it's still loading what i uh, what i miss in the in the menu which is easy to do is to add icons as you have uh, seen uh, an icon is very easy to to put in the menu.xml and if it's a beginner installation all of these they can the, the icons can be put directly so uh, if if they have uh, so i i uh, i definitely want to see icons here it will be a, a very perfect uh, distribution so far it is uh, fast uh, everything seems to work the ram uh, a little bit high for open box a little bit high for open box 450 or 350 or 400 is considered a little bit high let me let us open the web browser here okay so let us check again 95.02 that's the latest one so in short it's a very good distribution for open box very well designed the menu is very good it has most of the features especially if you want to edit some things the lacking as I told is the icon the lacking lacking icons makes it more more beautiful but in general, I I like it very much and I recommend it. Uh, 